All right, so this one is definitely for some of my basketball fans out there. You part of the NBA, man. You like watching it. Um, I'm not a Celtics fan, but shout out to what they are definitely doing um, in the NBA Finals this year. I mean, shout out to what they've been doing the entire year. I mean, we knew they used to be under the direction of Ime Udoka uh, a couple of uh, years, a couple seasons prior. Now we've got Joe Mazzula here, and this guy, he's got some character, man, and you're getting ready to see a clip, honestly, where he shocked me. But it, it, it's like, it's shocking, but it wasn't too shocking at the same time, because it's like, you see this young man's character, you see how he behaves on the court, you see his relationship with the people in the team, you see everything and how that all comes together, the success that they've been having in this year, and just the culture that he has developed right there in that establishment. And you hear what he says here in this clip that I'm getting ready to show you, and then it all makes sense. And 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 you're thankful that that is what it comes to. You're thankful that that's the resolution, that yeah, this is why this makes sense. And and I'm very proud uh, of this young man and, and just the steps that he took and, and to be able to say exactly what you're getting ready to hear him say on the platform that he's saying it on. He was he was talking, uh, had a question, and he was asked about his race, you know. I mean, the Celtics, they're doing really good. He's the head coach of that team. And, and, and people are asking about how is that for him as being a black coach. And, and, and I hate how the world is always trying to add race into things, and, and, and then they're adding, you know, color into it. Like, how does that matter about anything? Like, the color of someone's skin, please let me tell you this and listen to me very closely, the color of someone's skin has absolutely nothing to do with the chances and the opportunities and the ability for them to tap into the power that resides inside of them and go forth and accomplish what you're trying what they're trying to accomplish in life. So the, just, just hear me out on that and trust me that. But let's get into this clip. Joe Mazzula is going to you're going to hear him respond to being asked in questions about what it's like for him and his nationality, his race and the position he's in. And how does that work and how does it feel and what benefit is it or what disadvantages are there? All of that stuff. You know how they are when it comes to asking those stupid questions about race. But let's hear how gracefully and beautifully and educationally, I know I'm pumping some flags here, I'm pumping some stars for this guy, but you're going to hear just how great of a response he gave. And we'll talk about it. Let's get into this. It really doesn't matter um, what you are or what you believe in. The, the, life is about the way uh, in which the lens you look at it and the way the lens you look at yourself. And we have the choice to make to how we look at ourselves. We also have the choice to make to decide whether we're going to care about how people view us or how they don't. And uh, there's multiple lenses that each person can look at. Uh, I am half African-American, half Italian. And so, but most importantly, the decision that I made in my life, I've decided to not look at my lens through either one of those. And I've decided to look at my lens through that of which is Christianity. And so my identity is in, in him first. And that comes before anything else. And that's just been important to me because uh, what he's done for me in my life, uh, the people that I have around me that have brought me there, and it's important for my wife and it's important for my family. It doesn't mean that it's any more important than any other lens to which we can look at. Uh, but for me and my house, we will serve the Lord and we're going to look at the lens of life through that of Christianity and, and everything that comes with it. Exactly right there, man. Like you said, and there's no real big push. There's no real big push on you can do what you're going to do. You do what you're going to do. But I'm just here telling you that as for me and mine, this is what we do over here. And a lot of people I know in life. There's uh, barriers and there's crutches that they have because of their identity that they hold so strong in their race, in their culture. But God did not create us to identify ourselves by the color of our skins. He doesn't even identify us by that much. Um, but I'll steal a word from Martin Luther King here. But God definitely is weighing the intents and the morals of the contents of our character. So it's, 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 it's very interesting that we live in a society that just wants to point out the outer, the exterior of everyone. What color is your skin? What kind of hair do you have? How much money? What kind of car do you drive? What kind of house do you live in? What kind of clothes do you wear? What name brands do you have? What labels are you able to purchase? And it's like we weigh all that stuff that's irrelevant. And then you get... Uh, a world where there's a bunch of terrible people. Let's just be honest. You get a world where we're met with a lot of terrible customer service when you go to certain businesses. Because people aren't focusing on the interior. People aren't focused on the character. 
they're more concerned of how is it that you feel about being a black man as opposed and not knowing that I don't even identify as that I'm identifying as a child of God because when God looks at me he's not saying what's up black man he's just looking at you like you're my child not what's up white guy what's up Mexican guy what's up Asian guy no it's just my child and for us, when we're here on the earth, you know, I don't see the, I don't use and like to and never look at the world in color. It's just a brother in Christ or a sister in Christ. Which one are you? I, I'm not doing the non-binaries in Christ. <laughs> it's either brother in Christ or sister in Christ. Simple as that. But it doesn't matter what color you are because a lot of us, you know, it's like the world fights so much for like to end races, stop this, stop this. But it's like sometimes we can be contributing to the reason why racism, you know, and just hatred and just all those negative things are still present today in the world. But if you change that mindset, this is exactly what Joe Mazzulla was explaining about having that mindset, that understanding that. Look, this is what we subscribe to. This is our beliefs. We understand that the world's going to have their own get down. The world's going to get down the way the world wants to get down. And we have to understand that. But no matter how the world's getting down, no matter how other people are getting down, what they're doing, what they're doing, this is what we're doing. Because we believe that there's actual value. We believe there's knowledge. We believe there's truth in what we find in the Bible, in the word of God through prayer, all of that, we believe in what we know. So we identify ourselves in Christ. And when you identify yourself in Christ, man, you're going to have a better identity in general. Because then you're going to start to learn how to see yourself the way that Christ sees you. Then you really start to learn who Christ is. Because then you realize like, oh man, he sees me. Like, he doesn't see me, like, my mistakes, I feel so bad, I feel so, oh, God must be really angry with me right now because I've really just been messing up. I know I shouldn't really be going down that road, but, man, it's just so, it's so tempting and it's just so fun and I just got to keep going, so God just must be so angry. No, because he doesn't see you as just some person that is just worthless and you just keep messing up and there's just nothing good about you. No, he actually sees the complete opposite. He sees someone who is worthy and someone who, yes, makes mistakes, but someone who he cares so much for that he's already made a sacrifice for those sins, for those mistakes. He's just waiting for you to realize, hey, all I got to do is realize that, accept it, acknowledge it, believe that in my heart and confess it with my mouth. Look to him and know that my hope comes from him and he's going to give me, my family, my loved ones, my peeps, everything that I need. If I just seek him first and just know that, seek him first, everything that I worry about, everything that I desire, everything that I'm wanting, it'll be added unto me. If that's his will for my life, it will be added to me. If I can just take the time to realize and just change my mindset to know that there's a better way. There's plenty of options. There's plenty of options in the world. There's plenty of ways you can go. There's plenty of choices to make. But over here, we're choosing Jesus Christ. Over here, we're choosing the knowledge of good, the knowledge of truth. That's what we're choosing here. People can choose whatever they want to choose. But from my experience, this choice here has been a really good choice. It's a good choice. Like I said, it's not always easy. It's not always easy. But it's promising. It's hopeful. It's safe. And it's secure. Shout out to Joe Mazzula, man, head coach of the NBA, Boston Celtics. Man of God, dude. That, that's it. In a world like today, on a platform like that, with the publicity that he's getting, with the success that he's bringing and creating within that establishment with the Boston Celtics, I'm very proud and very happy that he took the time to say that.
shout out to this man. Keep him in your prayers because you already know how the media works and you know how the world is. Once people come out and start confessing the name of Jesus Christ, people start losing jobs. People start becoming targets. It's terrible. Keep your prayers on this man. We'll keep you guys prayed up as well. Keep me prayed up, man. We keep everybody prayed up, you know, because the prayers of a righteous man, they avail much, man. So send those up to God, man. Appreciate you guys for staying this long. That's all I got for you guys on this one. To the next one. I'm out.